What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. Today we're going to go over the build I've been talking about in my previous video where I go over the reason why actually in all situations Heartbreaker chess piece might not actually be the best one to run. So make sure you go back and check that out. But just before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more division videos. Or coming over to Twitch, could be streaming live right now. Hit that follow button. And if you need a community Discord, there's never been a better time to join. You will find the link down below in the description. And with all that said, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a little line diagram, which is this one here. Uh, and what you can see from this it's basically along the bottom is stacks from zero all the way to a hundred and up the left hand side is damage and this is three builds we'll forget the spotter one because that doesn't actually do enough damage go and check out my previous video as to why but you can see here this red one that says heartbreaker that is four piece heartbreaker including the chess piece and perfect glass cannon, which is what we're going to talk about today, is perfect glass cannon chess piece with four other pieces of heartbreaker and a different backpack. Now, what you can see here from the red line very quickly, I'm I talked about this in detail in my last video, but I'm briefly going to go over it to explain the build. Is you can see a constant set of damage from one stack of heartbreaker all the way up to a hundred. Okay. Um, and then you can see where you start off with perfect glass cannon. Now you actually start off at higher damage. And for a long time, Perfect Glass Cannon will do more damage until you get to 80 stacks. And at that point, Heartbreaker takes over. So, to be doing more damage than the build I'm going to show you today, you have to constantly have more than 81 stacks up on your Heartbreaker. And what also you've got to remember is the pros and cons for this. Obviously, Glass Cannon has incoming damage uh, amplified. But what also you've got to think about is in the other direction that with the four piece, you've got to keep up a hundred stacks. And with this, you only have to keep up 50. And it's a lot easier keeping up these stacks because, you know, you've got to be over 80 stacks. Keeping up above 80 stacks is pretty difficult. So it's a lot easier for any other stack to be, you know, the fit, once you get to 50, like it's just so much easier to keep up the other stack to be doing, to be doing more damage. And we both get survivability off both of these builds. So we both get a bit of blue. So really, really nice as well. So that's enough of that. If you want to see that in more detail, by all means, check out the previous video. Let's flick back to the build. And this is the build. Now, it's nothing terribly surprising, I don't think. Uh, obviously, we are... The only thing I think is probably the most surprising is not running the ACS shotgun. Or the rock and roll. I mean, by all means, you can run the ACS shotgun with this if you really, really wanted to. Uh, but I found that with the M4, because it has such a high RPM, I could get to 25 stacks or in and around that by destroying a yellow enemy just myself. So, to me, especially you know, in Countdown, there's so many people running around. It's so hard to keep your stacks up. Uh, just check next time you go into a Countdown how, how hard it is to keep them stacked up. Uh, I think it's pretty hard now people are becoming more and more efficient at playing the game and all of the new content and becoming more powerful. So this to me now I think is going to be the kind of top go-to build for me. I don't have to rely too much on stacks and I can outperform an all yellow build pretty easily as well. So I'm not optimized or, or anything yet. Uh, I've not got any expertise levels on this police M4 but I am going to be ramping that up over the next couple of days. Uh, but you can see Police M4, we'll go into the mod, we'll check it all out. We've got crit chance, we've got crit chance, and uh, we should, we've got the wrong one in here. We should have the 10% one from Firewall. Don't forget about this, do not forget about this. A lot of people always forget about that. And then we've got 20 extra rounds here. Taking the Scorpio, I'm running Glass Cannon, I want to get out a Jail Free card, that is what that is. Uh, firewall, obviously, because we need that mod and anything else in the offhand. That's absolutely fine. Chess piece, nothing you've not seen before. Sacrifice, crit damage, crit chance, crit damage. And then perfect glass cannon, the 30% amplified damage. And what you've got to think about is we're essentially taking a cut of 20% amplified damage. All of a sudden, them numbers begin to match up, right? We've got to get to 80% on the 
heartbreaker gear set before we start beating out, you know, another 20% and we'd be at 100. But this is at a constant, you know, we don't have to build any stacks up for this 30%. So we start off 30% ahead. And that's why you see them slant that we talked about earlier on. Then we go to Seska. We want to make sure we're at 60% crit chance. So we've got the brand set bonus here. You can see weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. And of course, vigilance. We double bubble in on the vigilance here. We've got the shield to stop it from going away. And we'll get a little bit of bonus armor as well from this as well. Then you just basically got to use all the other pieces to build your crit chance. So you can see here the heartbreaker. Two piece giving us the 15% assault rifle damage. Some weapon handling which makes the M4 even more like a laser. And then obviously the heart stopper bonus where we'll get 50% amplified damage as well. Uh, that we can build up to anyway. Two stacks lost every second. Weapon damage, crit chance, crit chance. Hands, weapon damage, crit damage. Knees, weapon damage, crit chance. And holster, weapon damage, crit damage. Using the firewall shield and the reviver hive, because obviously we want to make sure we're okay. But it's been a lot of fun running this. And as you can see, I'm at 60% crit chance, 127% crit damage, 90% headshot. And we've got some health damage off the gun as well. But it's been a lot of fun. I don't mind running gl perfect glass cannon. I know a lot of people don't like it, and this build might not be for you. But not having to worry about switching to my shotgun all of the time, switching away from it. I feel like sometimes there's a lot of downtime running the chest for Heartbreaker by switching and not switching switch. Sometimes you just stay on your ACS while you're mowing through the red ads. It, it just doesn't always seem convenient or consistent. This is much more consistent. Although, yeah, we've got the in extra incoming damage, but it is way more consistent. And this totally would not have been viable without the recent change. Focus and Glass Cannon are definitely back in play when it comes to damage kind of gear set builds now when you're combining them with Heartbreaker especially. And just before we uh, finish the video, we'll head into the range. Now what you got to remember is I've got no expertise levels on this police M4. I've just started playing with it. I wanted the fast RPM. I'm usually a, a carbine guy. So my damage numbers are going to be lower than what they could be. 20% lower, in fact. And what we'll do is, I'm not going to use the... Uh, but you can just see how fast you can build the stacks up. You know, without using the ACS. You know, and with all that speed, we're at one point, nearly 1.3 million with all that speed. So we'll very easily get much closer up to 2 million without a doubt, you know, without a doubt. If you had to see a, a kind of comparison, here is the Carbine 7. A bit slower. You know, but you might have to start thinking about, you know, do I use the ACS with that? And then you got the Kingbreaker, but obviously this King, I've got eleven percent expertise upgrade on this, so it's going to hit way, way harder. This is really not the ideal weapon for building stacks. Like, look at one point eight five six. It's crazy with that extra percent, but too unreliable buff for building stacks because of the spread on it. It's definitely all about the you know the speedy M4 two hundred RPM more. Uh, I just need to get it upgraded and get some real damage on it. One other contender that you can really, really consider, and I can't put it on because of that, would be the Eagle Bearer. The Eagle Bearer hits really hard, kind of middle uh, range between the Kingbreaker and the Police M4, but it's got 750 RPM and it's got extra 10 bullets in the mag. And uh, it gets better at firing the more you fire it. So, you know, a real contender there. If you like running the Eagle Bearer, you know, the Eagle Bearer could work very, very well with this build as well. Don't forget to go and check out all my previous videos on this topic. Hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Is it too glass cannon for you guys? Maybe you could squeeze a blue in it, you know. You're going to get that advantage from Heartbreaker still. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, I'll put some footage at the end as well, and you can check out what it's like running.
True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus.
According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from the door. That's the key to be able to transport those borders loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. inside the memorial. to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a...
locate the target. Detected.
Agent, you've reached the turbine. I need you to fix the power grid. You're in. We need to switch the power over to the new grid. Close the transformers and remove any weapons.
work and stabilize the power grid in this region. 